is as wrong. One is wrong because it is unnaturally rare. The other is wrong because it is wicked and sinful. Okay, in verse 26, Paul says, For this reason God gave them over to degrading passions. Could you explain uh, from the text what for this reason means? How does it connect it with what came before? Well, because he's talking about them as I, he's talking to about idolaters. And he said those who commit this sin, this wickedness of idolatry, are do two things. Number one, they... So they can do two things. They can, one, do things that are outside of the norms of the society. They are outside the culture. Or they can also, by virtue of their idolatry, commit wickedness and sin. They can do either one. They can fall into either or both. So in uh, verse, when it says in verse 24, therefore God gave them over. And then verse 26, this reason God gave them over, using the exact same Greek word, paradidomy. Uh, you're saying that uh, it's a different them in verse 24 as in verse 26? No, it's the same. Well, it, it actually is a different them because some are described as those who are performing that which is uncommonplace and often, by the way, unclean. unclean. And then there are others that are, that are wicked. You do, there are two lists in that that we're talking so even though he used the exact same words you are insisting that the text tells us yeah. that there is a complete disjunction between the two and, and okay. it was intended if he if he wanted there to be a single list then every every act that was wrong was in the same list there would be no need for two lists there would be one list these are the things that have happened because of this idolatry he does not do that he specifically has two lists, and I, I would suggest, again, that people go back, read the, read the text, okay. and see if you think there is a reason for that difference. What is a degrading passion, sir? What is a degrading passion? For this reason, God them over to degrade, gave them over to degrading passion. Well, I think uh, any, uh, any lustful uh, sexual activity of any kind is included in, as a degrading passion. In are, 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 are those sinful? Necessarily, no. So you can have, you can degrade someone in your past that's not necessarily something. I, you know, I, I just see the text. Maybe we could add a few sentences here because I, I do want to do this. Verse 26. That's a small print edition. This is, this is, this is very, very, very I've just read. Are them. all possible sins listed in 28 to 32? Well, one would hope not, because okay. then there would be acts that are occurring today, for example, that would not be considered sinful because they aren't mentioned there. So, so using not, heroin, for example. So Paul did not say that these are the only sins. No, no, he didn't. But he certain. But I think the structure makes it absolutely clear. I mean, I don't know how many times to say this that he let he has two distinct lists. One is a greater sin. One is wickedness and evil and sin. And the other is falling away as an idolater into unclean practices.
published before, I found it fascinating that almost none of the sources that Dan just used to use.
forsook at his death. His body vanished. He appeared around the break of dawn to the disciple on the road to the city. Second Samuel was written using the slot. First Chronicles 